Five. All right, James, thank you. A Haitian toddler in Delray Beach is proving that survival is in his blood. After the earthquake, along with his poverty-stricken mother, he was found huddled in a basement by nurses who worried that he would die of a heart problem unless he got help here in the United States. As News Channel 5's Evan Axelbake reports, the problems didn't stop there, but the love multiplied. Their lives changed with an email. We were asked, did we know of a host family that would be willing to take a Haitian infant who had a life-threatening heart condition? Sure they did. We prayed about it, and uh, within 24 hours we said we're ready to go. A year ago, thinking he'd only be here a few months, Jeff and Diane Rose became Adriano Victor's American caretakers. He had a hole in his heart and needed surgery in Philadelphia, where the Roses live half the year. Functioning at 5%? At the end of the surgery, he was functioning at 85%. The Snowbirds brought him to Florida this winter for what they thought would be the end of his recovery, but his health problems were just beginning. Now, something was wrong with his stomach. It got to the point he'd take a bottle and he spit up what was the the record oh he's he threw up like 36 times <laughs> in a couple hours adriano would need another surgery and he would come to west boca medical to get it it would be one of the first of its kind done in palm beach county i like to do it with the robot because the robot allows uh, a tremendous delicacy pediatric surgeon melvin carp used a robot to repair adriano's stomach as you can see it worked with only a month to go before Adriano's visa expires, the Roses might need help with their own broken hearts as they prepare to bring him back to his mother in Haiti. Not only do they love him. After a year, it's like, oh my gosh, I've had him longer than his mom. But they're worried about the care that the boy will get in Haiti. He also has Down syndrome. He's a, a child that's always going to have issues, I think. And, you know, can they deal with it? For all he's fought through, this 15-pound, 17-month-old boy is going to have to survive Haiti now. His American family will be cheering all the way. In Delray Beach, Evan Axelbank, WPTV, News Channel 5. Unbelievable love there. Jeff and Diane do hope to keep in touch, but with a language barrier and a bad communication system there, they are preparing for the fact that that will be very difficult.